Hello, IEP1. Welcome to the build lab part of your class. So in our lab, um, we sometimes call it engineering lab or the build lab, and this is where we build engineers, build your skills as engineers in um, terms of um, building projects and understanding how to use tools and practice with using tools and understanding how things go together. So this part of the class is where we um, for the last eight years have built 3D printers, but this year um, you guys get to build something new. So we're exciting about, excited about building what we're calling the Ultimate Machine version 2.0. So let me show you a little bit here with the camera. And so the ultimate, last year students built what we call this, what we call the Ultimate Machine. And what it does is you turn it on. Let me get this in the camera better. Turn it on. And it turns itself off. That was the ultimate machine. All right. So students built that last year. Um, this year, we're moving on to the ultimate, what we call ultimate machine 2.0, bigger and better version, which is right here. And so make sure we turn it on here. And so this version has four switches and same kind of thing. We turn them on and it turns them off. So it has an issue there. Okay. And so this machine has uh, will help you um, learn lots of different aspects of engineering building. And so you'll build the structure of the machine. Uh, learn how to make things square. It has motors and pulleys and other different kinds, stepper motors and servo motors, switches, of course. Um, has electronics. You'll be doing soldering um, and crimping, learning how to put things together. And so it is um, a robotic arm uh, powered by or controlled by an Arduino. Um, we have stepper drivers and things here as well. And so while the um, device itself is maybe not overly useful, maybe fun, but not overly useful, um, hopefully it will bring your, some of you have done robotics and done lots of soldering and building of things. Um, so hopefully you will enjoy the project and learn a little bit. And some of you have not done much building at all. And so this project then will definitely help your skills and bring up your, your use of tools and your um, skills in building up to a, um, definitely a higher level. So everybody kind of has a common ground to start from. When we move on to classes like IEP1 and engineering project management, um, we call it EPM, where you will be designing things and building them um, in, in several different projects. So this machine, you might notice, maybe it's a little hard to see, um, this looks familiar. Um, so what we're going to we're going to be also doing some reverse engineering. So we're going to be taking a cordless drill uh, and using some of the parts. We have the motor installed here. We have the battery as part of the as the power supply for um, the ultimate machine. And so the idea here is that um, when you build a 3D printer, usually you don't take it apart um, and use the parts for something else. But with the ultimate machine 2.0. Uh, we hope that you will take it apart. And so we're going to give you some extra part, motors and parts as well. But we've got, um, we hope that in IEP2 and EPM, you will take this apart and use it to, uh, we have expansion here for including more motors. Um, you could use the extrusions to build something, um, switches. Anyway, lots of components and motors and different things that you can use to make your future class projects even better. So we're excited about the possibilities and seeing what you will come up with when you um, use this machine um, past your learning for building an IP one but when you become um, an upperclassman and start doing design, um, we're excited to see what you'll make this into um, with your own creativity. Um, the machine also has a meter here measuring voltage and current. So we're going to do some um, experiments also learning, looking at alternative energy, using the motors to, to crank and put in our own power, looking at we'll have some solar panels in the lab that we can do some testing with. So uh, lots of fun projects, lots of building, lots of learning going on with the ultimate machine. All right. 
So um, continuing on, so these machines are, these. We've got, you're going to get a box, it's a kit of pieces and parts that you're going to put together for making your ultimate machine. This is a gift for you from the School of Engineering and Engineering Technology. Um, the benefits of the project are many are many in terms of your, your learning of building skills, your learning of what all these components are, um, and then your use of these parts and um, components for future projects as well. So um, just a few tips in terms of what to do in the lab here. Um, ask questions. So if you're in doubt, we're going to start here soon with inventory and just jump right in. So ask questions. We have TAs and I, um, I will be in the labs and pre-labs moving. Or there's a couple of things going on at once, so I won't always be in the room, but we'll have TAs around that you can also, that will be around that you can ask questions. Um, this is not a group project. Everybody gets their own kit. Um, everybody does their building. And remember, um, don't steal others' learning. If somebody's struggling and taking a while, um, you can give them some tips if they ask, but don't do it for them. Let them, and even if you're the one struggling, think, remember that this is building your skills and it will make you a better builder and you'll learn from the process. So don't do it for other people and um, enjoy learning and getting better at, at building. As far as grades for building this thing, we have what we call what we call sign-offs. And so we'll, you will get a grade sheet that will be part of your record. The grade sheets stay in the lab. Um, you don't take them home, but on these grade sheets we'll have each different part um, that you need to get signed off, which means have a TA or me check that you've done the work correctly. And so we are into quality. And so um, there's no partial, well, you got it pretty good, so we'll give you a B or whatever. Um, you do it correctly, and then you get 100% if you do it correctly within the allotted time. And so if you um, take too long, you can get a lower grade, but still, to get any credit, you need to do the building or the soldering or the what have you. The instruction, the um, the part of the lab manual will tell you what to do, and you need to do it correctly to get signed off. All right. And so, just one note: the TAs can sign off inside of class, but don't. The TAs are off duty outside of class, so they cannot do sign offs outside of class. Um, sign offs will be due. Okay, before the next lab or pre-lab of the same type. So, for example, today you're in pre-lab one, and so all the parts assigned for pre-lab one will be due before you come to pre-lab two. So you, you could get things signed off um, today in pre-lab one. You could get things signed off in open lab times. We'll have some times when the lab is open and TAs are here. Um, or you could get them signed off during lab one time when... Um, when we're in the work time of lab one. So you cannot get signed off when you come to lab for pre-lab two, then it's too late and you will be, then if you come, basically it'll be two weeks. And so be, between each pre-lab one to pre-lab two. And so if you come to pre-lab two with pre-lab one not done, then the grade will be 80% for that part. Okay, and then after another two weeks, it goes down to 60% and after another two weeks, then um, there's no credit given. Um, so you need to get all parts of each pre-lab or lab done to get any credit for that lab or pre-lab. And so make sure you complete all the parts and get them signed off. Be sure to come to lab and pre-lab. Attendance um, is counted and it is a big part of your grade. If you need to miss lab, let me know. Um, we do do these labs. Um, the class is broken up into eight different lab sections, and so um, there may be another time that you can come and make up what you've missed. Do We are going to give you kits. Bring them to, um, I didn't have a lab here. Bring all of your parts to the lab and to pre-lab. You, you need to take the kits with you, okay? So you'll do your inventory, and once you've signed off on your inventory, then you can take the kits out of the room and you, um, you need to keep them and bring them to lab and pre-lab when you come. In terms of work in the lab, so if you're, so you will have be working at a table. If you need a tool that is not available at your table or not part of your kit, then you need to ask the TA or me to get them for you. Don't go digging around in the cabinets or in the, on the workbench just looking for tools. Let us get them for you.
make sure you get training and before using soldering stations and other or other power tools and do always make sure you wear glass, safety glasses when you're soldering and just a little note about the open lab times we will have times on Monday and Wednesday evening from 7 to 9 p.m. where the um, the lab this RG's workshop will be open and you can come and work on work on the projects do soldering get things signed off whatever you may need to do um, for the class to um, to keep up with what you need to do and get things signed off. Okay, so we're excited to start building and see what kind of things you can do with your ultimate machines.